Graduates, graduates, you may be seated. On behalf of the Chesapeake Union Exempted Village Board of Education, the staff at Chesapeake High School, and the class of 2024, welcome to our graduation ceremony. This has been a long time coming for our students. We appreciate each of you who are here today to help celebrate this milestone in your lives. At this time, we ask that you please stand as the band plays the national anthem, then remain standing as Brooklyn McComas offers the invocation.
Let's pray. Lord, we come to you today in gratitude. Thank you for the knowledge we've gained, the friendships we've made, and the dreams we carry in our hearts. Please help us to appreciate the gifts in which you've blessed us so that we may invest our time, abilities, and opportunities in ways that glorify you. Lord, I pray that each of us allow you to guide us and give us a clear sense of purpose in life, align our goals to match yours, and use us to fulfill the plan you have in store. Your word says that you provide us with the strength and the help we need. So let us never forget that we can come to you in all things. At this great turning point in our lives, we can rejoice in tomorrow, confident that you are by our side. We couldn't do it without you, Lord, and I am eternally grateful that we'll never have to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Our honor graduate speaker graduates with a 4.1 grade point average and plans to attend Ohio University. He is the son of Craig and Leanna Collins. It is my privilege to introduce Carter Collins. Show class, have pride, and display character. Winning takes care of itself. What's up, Peak? I am here today to speak on behalf of the Chesapeake High School Class of 2024 as this year's valedictorian or best in class. Maybe a little bit about myself, too. While I could stand up here and tell you guys exactly how many months, days, minutes, and seconds we have been here, I plan on not doing that. FYI, it has been 64,233,000 seconds. Some people view graduation as a sad end to the best years of their life. But I look at it as more of a celebration for what is to come. A celebration of our young lives unfolding into new beings as we travel to new places meet new people, and work new jobs. Life is just a big old iceberg, and high school is right at the tip of it. Furthermore, I'd like to thank God for giving me life and the ability to be the man I am today. My family, friends, and girlfriend Aaron for always supporting me. And with a very special thank you, I'd like to thank my mother, Leanna, or as I like to call her, meh. <laughs> And my father, Craig, for absolutely everything, from diapers to driving on the road. These people were here for all of it, sacrificing their everyday lives to continuously love and support me, every practice, every game, or faraway tournament. They were always there. As I am the baby of the family, me graduating has been very hard on my mother, but she has never held me back. In the midst of tears, she tells me to head on off to college and leave her behind, because she knows it is what's best for me. I admire her for always putting her children first, and I truly cannot put into words how much I love her. While my dad, while my dad acts all tough up front, I know deep down he's gonna miss getting beaten in basketball, soccer, pickleball, swimming, wiffle ball, golf, trivia, croquet, badminton, darts, tennis, bowling, boxing, cricket, football, rugby, Australian football, Wrestling, knockout, paintball, softball, cross country, track and field, Call of Duty, Wii Sports Resort, and most importantly, ping pong. <laughs> In all seriousness, my parents' competitiveness have given me a sort of drive for everything I do. I want to be the best at everything, and if I can't, I want to be the best I can. Obviously, it didn't work out with sports, so I had to stick to calculus. Wrapping up this thank you to my parents, I would like to leave this point with some wisdom from Craig. Don't buy pet humans, they only cost you money. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> my sister Elena has been one of the, if not the most important person in my life. She's a true role model to everyone around her. As she continues her schooling with a master's degree in occupational therapy, she still makes time to talk to me daily and keep me in her life. 
The way she carries herself as a person is extremely admirable. She was always there to give me advice or be there during the hard times in our lives. Our bond as siblings is something I will forever cherish and plan to pass this on to my kids someday. Thank you, Elena Bug, the hardest rapper in the game. My memo Bain is also someone who is very important in my life. With her loud laugh, odd sense of humor, and bright personality, there is never a doubt she will brighten your day. Being able to spend lots of time with her this year is something I will never forget. So thank you for everything you do, Mamma. Especially, oh my gosh, that cherry torque. If you guys don't know who she is, you need to find her and get that recipe because it will change your life. It definitely changed mine. Now I'd like to thank a few special teachers who stood out during my time at Chesapeake High School. I'd like to say thank you to Ms. Cheek for always keeping it real. I had some of my favorite high school memories in my junior statistics class. I'd like to say thank you to Ms. Spears for also keeping it real. Ms. Spears is known at Chesapeake High School for teaching the hardest curriculum and always pushing students to their limits. While my time in her class usually involved a good bit of classwork, I learned more than ever in her class, not only about physics, but life as well. And guess what? Chicken bone. <laughs> also, NASA, please give this lady a job. She really deserves it. Thank you. I would also like to say something about a very, very special teacher in my life, Ms. D. Rucker. This lady has sacrificed hours upon hours upon hours trying to figure out the smart board just so we can take some notes. <laughs> Thank you, Ian, for always saving the day. In all seriousness, Ms. Rucker has dedicated her life to, for, to teaching Chesapeake students math, a very important tool in our lives. You could always tell what kind of day it was as soon as you step into class. We were always learning, but we were seriously learning if D-Ruck had the shoes off. <laughs> a word of advice to other students would be to not shy away from D-Rucker or Spears' classes. Too many students blame them for being too harsh or mean. I say they just weren't quite prepared for the truth. These ladies speak nothing but the truth. And as a tribute to this year's AP Calculus class, Who are we? We AP! That's right, brother. Now, for the moment you have all been waiting for, not the end of my speech, I'm not done. The Lads Group Chat, formerly known as Bodie Bounce. A legendary Snapchat group consisting of myself, Judah, the British dude, Jacob, Ethan, Garrett, Isaac, Declan, Tyler, Cole, and Logan Schmoney Man Dine. What a group. Whether we are hanging out playing pickleball or Declan is barking at innocent people in downtown Columbus, we always had the best time. Moments like our King's Island trips, Garrett's photo shoots, or Tyler and Judah's everlasting rivalry are my favorite high school memories. I wish I had friends like these guys my entire life. Find your people. I promise to wrap this up here soon and get out of everyone's hair, except for Mr. Sullivan's. The class of 2024, the finishing piece to the world's puzzle, in my humble, very unbiased opinion. As we graduate into adulthood, we begin to realize what we are leaving behind, as well as what is to come. Whether you are going back to school or picking up a trade, we will certainly change the world. As I end this speech, I would like to leave the community of Chesapeake and the class of 2024 with a quote from a writer named Al Shiaradana. Always let your actions speak louder than words. Understand that leadership is a verb based on action, not a noun granted through titles. Lead your own way by being absurdly you. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2024. At this time, I would like to ask Aaron Taylor to please stand. Aaron has enlisted into the West Virginia National Guard. Aaron, on behalf of the school and this entire community, we thank you for your commitment to serve. <laughs> we 
Board of Education members, faculty, staff, family, and guests, the members of the class of 2024 who are seated before you today have met all requirements as set forth by the state and local boards of education, and they are now eligible to receive their diplomas. Giles, 
Owen Nida. Alex Christopher Plummer. Eli Pratt. Jonathan Brammer. Braxton Odeker. Aaron Taylor. Hunter Poe. Noah Duvenden. Landon Osterreicher. Mackenzie Insko. Kylie Simmons. Madeline Marie Hessen. Maggie Megan Renee Dillon. Riley Isaacs. Landon O'Neill Stanley. William Joseph Schwarberger. Colby Don Dishman. Jaden Gray Richard Brandenburg. Brandon McKee. Brandon Patterson. Jacob Maynard. Zach Chafin. Jordan Mullins. <laughs> Levi Rollins. <laughs> Lucian Watts. <laughs> Xavier Brewer. <laughs> Summer Faye Hagley. <laughs> Miranda Taylor Napier. <laughs> Mackenzie Skaggs. <laughs> Peyton Campbell Fikes. <laughs> Jenny Fallaway. <laughs> Madison Cottle. Lydia Mans. Anna Di Vittorio. Miranda Corns. Tara Maynard. Montera Lynn Rutherford. Jalen Atkins. Amber Ortega. Hannah Johnson. Jalen Chatterton. Alyssa Dawn Stafford. Emma Smith. Emily Lynn Hicks. Phoebe J. Bryan. Tabitha Kim. 
Antonio Marcello Kinder. Jacob Preston Spitler. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2024.